I try not to get too political on this podcast, but we have a hot debate that we're trying to settle right now. Mm-hmm. And who has the better food court? Ikea or Costco? Mm. This is the only red and blue that I will fight over. <laughs> Let's pull up the menu here to refresh everybody. We'll start with the Ikea Bistro. We're not talking about yeah, the restaurant. That's different. The restaurant is like fine dining. They have like 50 items in there. Yes. Here are your mm-hmm. options at Ikea. You have the pizza slice, the hot dog, the veggie dog, all right? And then we continue. <laughs> Whatever toppings the, are on that. The Bisto pretzel with mustard. And then the meatball sundae. Uh, and then they have a plant-based one. And then they do have some desserts. The cinnamon bun, the strawberry soft mm-hmm. ice. And then they got a couple ice cream options. Ye- to me, each of these have a primary thing that you're looking at. But the, and, and, and the, the real main character of this is the, this is the meatball show and the cinnamon roll. The cinnamon roll is very good. Now, Costco is... I think more lauded and celebrated yes. for theirs. The pizza, the chicken bake. The, is that a Philly cheesesteak they got? Gonna, I don't know. They got a new sandwich now. Yeah, they, I, they have removed the. They don't always have this at every Costco, too. They don't okay. Have, uh-huh. They no don't one, have that at, at mine. Nobody's ever ordered that, anyways. We're going with the main, the main the characters mains, here. Which the are pizza, the, the chicken dog. bake, the hot dog. Mm-hmm. They have the smoothie, the ice cream, the churro. I mean, these, I mean, you're putting an Ikea meatball against a Costco hot dog, a Costco. hot That's dog. really the main debate. Now, here. the thing with Costco is everything on their menu is double the size, if not quadruple the size. So the Ikea stuff. So you, value wise. Yes. Costco, you're getting way it, more it food would be for less. Weird. If you got three hot dogs at Ikea. Right. It's not weird if you get. <laughs> one yeah. jumbo hot dog mm-hmm. at Costco. And same with the ice cream. That's yeah. like, you get so much ice cream. I mean it's Costco. That's the Costco. nature of Costco. They're like, no, sixteen right. ounces of soft serve. I so, will tell you, in my opinion. Food. In my opinion, the Costco menu is overrated. I don't like Costco pizza. I, I've never I find it to be on the flavor bland side. Yeah. The chicken bake is inedible. It's cheese. It's, yeah. it's terrible. But the Costco hot dog, I mean, it's a perfect hot dog. It's, it's the right the size. Best. It's so filling. It's just the amount of sweaty that you want. You don't want too sweaty, but you want a little perspiration on your dog. It's all beef. That's it's all beef. Um, It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. And, and you then get you the get so- those little onions. Yeah. The, the diced <sighs> onions. Just, just roll them out. You can ask for sauerkraut. You know, like you can really, really German that dog up. Yeah. That relish, that mustard, that sauerkraut This with is that under dog. a dollar. It's a dollar because fifty. Because you the get the drink. soda with too, the right? Yeah. I mean, that's that you can't forget that yeah. it's with the mm-hmm. soda for a dollar fifty. Like that's. If you yeah. have, if you have little kids, you guys could like, three little kids yeah. could split a hot dog. Okay. Now let me make an argument for IKEA. I do think on a pure. Just taste flavor level. I do think the meatball is the best tasting of anything on any of these menus. I, I think, think so the, too. The IKEA meatball yeah. with the linden berries. I've never had this Sunday thing. I've seen a cup of meatballs, yeah. but the Sunday has the mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes, the gravy, and, and the linden berries. Gravy and the linden berry. I don't think that there is anything that tastes as good at Costco as that item. We were just at Ikea. I think our daughter could have eaten 30 meatballs. Yeah. Because she had like 14. Mm-hmm. And she was like eyeing our place. Yeah. They were all gone. All the meatballs and were I, gone. And if we're just doing the debate <laughs> over- Then we came home and made meatballs right. with the Ikea meatballs. Yes. If we're just doing the debate over <laughs> the overall like experience, both are, I, I think Costco and Ikea are both an equal hassle. So that's thrown out the window. None of them. Yeah, the of parking their... lots and the carts. Okay, hold on though. Let, <laughs> bu- 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 <laughs> Let me make. Okay, so I have a new. I have a new um, layer to this argument. Okay. Everyone's like, "Well, Costco is cheaper. It's for the people." Blah 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 blah. You have to pay to get into that Costco. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to be a uh-huh. member to even step foot in that Costco. So some of their prices are offset by the fact that you're a member. And then they're like, "No, be at all Costco. the perks." 
There's the perks. Yeah, you get the IKEA card is, and, and the credit card. You, and then you you're get you're not paying any extra. Back. There's no yeah. extra cost at IKEA. There's no IKEA membership. You're walking in there for free. You could walk in. The general person could walk in off the street and order from IKEA, but you you don't have that at Costco. All right, I Melissa. Don't, well, don't know. it's November second, and you need to cast your ballot right now. Okay. Um, IKEA, bistro, or the the moment's here. You're sitting in front of your ballot. Here you go. You can only pick one. You've gone through the pros and the cons. You've thought about their mm -hmm. their their beliefs, the experience, their effect on the economy and your personal budget, and the impact that they have on your life. You have to cast IKEA Bistro or Costco Food Court. I'm going Costco Food Court. Costco Food Court. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It goes against. Uh, well, first off, I'm not sure IKEA is even eligible because I'm not sure if they're American born. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure if I can, if I, if they're even qual, if they're qualified for the position. <laughs> it goes against everything that I stand for most as a person to support Costco in the sense that they, I don't like, I don't like classism. I don't like membership. I don't like that membership part of Costco. But if that membership helps drive down the costs of the food court, of the food court then it is just kind of a perk. <sighs> Gosh, the meatball is so good. It is. The meatball is incredible. And the cinnamon roll is good and the ice cream. So if I'm just thinking about a total experience, I don't think there's a sweet that tastes as good. The churro at, is very bland at Costco. It doesn't do much for me. They got I, a new big cookie. but Oh, I, I don't like a big cookie. You don't. I don't like a big yeah, cookie. You don't. No. I think when all is said and done, I'm going to go Ikea because I think it's a more complete meal. And that I can have something Better savory. flavor profile. Yes. And then yeah. I can get that cinnamon roll right there. There you go. And I can get a crappy shelf. <laughs> 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 Which, who doesn't? Andy? Costco. Easy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You got a family of six. Yeah. I bet you frequent a Costco. Price, I, I, think the pe I like the pepperoni pizza. I like yeah. the cheese blend. I've looked into it. I'm like, there's something about the way this pizza <laughs> eats that I yeah. really like. And they add, a, it's like half provolone. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm a fan. You can get a $10 pizza. That, that's the thing. I mean, you can $10. $10. Melissa, how, how expensive are those that pizza. frozen thing of meatballs? Is it $9 yeah. for 100 meatballs? <laughs> They're all good deals. You're right. Yeah, but convincing yeah. like a ton of little kids to eat 10 meatballs at a birthday party each to like No, I see them? I think I don't know. No, I think you need to realize that people would. You just have to provide the option. People don't think to provide meatballs as a kids party, but if you did, they would eat it. If it was just like a tower of meatballs. <laughs> everybody gets a toothpick. I think a tower I think a tower of the meatballs kids off the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Eat from the top. <laughs> it's a Jenga. Dummy. Meatball Jenga. Meatball Jenga would be a huge hit. Yeah. We all win. Everybody <laughs> just pyramid. get their plates out, you know? Mm -hmm. Or if you just, like, if you got at the it's table. Like crock pot of meatballs. If you just threw a bunch in the middle and then you put four kids around and you played Hungry Hungry Hippos. Hungry Hippos. It could be a hit. That's my, that's my hippo. You know, they go out. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'd win. <laughs>